little by little, bit by bit. Sure are. Oh. We're putting the legwork in, that's for sure. Oh. How far have we gotten with it? It's still yet to be determined. God, this bit right here hurts so much. Oh. I've got the turkey neck going. Losing my youthful appearance. starts with one step. It sure does. Getting out of bed in the morning and you've got a migraine again just like yesterday. <sighs> yes, like anything you've just got to chip away at it every which way you can. Non-stop. Biting off more than you can chew sometimes, pushing the boundaries. This is one of the best exercises. I always say this is the one, this is the one, and it's a good one. And there's actually more than just one good one. There's several. But yes, this one, very important. Oh. Yeah. It's a little it's a little bit like the idea of combining art with sport and philosophy. Yes. It is a little bit. The Japanese called it Kaizen. St. Francis, he of course was a big fan of the Japanese and the Chinese, Asia in general, the entire continent. And one thing he said, do what's necessary, do what's possible, and do the impossible, or the impossible, depending on your English. And there we have it, viewers. Welcome back. Thanks very much for joining me. Of course, of course, it's no coincidence that here we are, five hundred years later, a thousand years later. Beg your pardon. A young Pope named Francis, who also likes Chinese. The crows are talking. Eight hours later, oh, it makes you so dizzy doing those stretches. I've sp spent about the last eight, eight hours like this. A shocking migraine. <sighs> <sighs> 